Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And uh, a while back I did a couple videos on this, this uh, component tester. Uh, the first one is, is how to put it together. And then the, uh, the second one is the uh, review of it. And as I mentioned in the review, the issue with some of these uh, cases is this lever here that holds the uh, leads on the component that you're checking uh, is too small and you can't get your finger in there. And uh, what some people have done is actually cut this acrylic case out. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to trim this acrylic case a little bit. We're going to use a Dremel with a cutoff wheel. And we're going to basically take and uh, what I'd like to do is elongate this hole a little bit and then also trim this down. But what we're going to have to do is take this apart and uh, to, to get to that face plate so we can trim it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these four screws out and lift this off and then, then I need to get this side plate out to modify that. So that's what we're going to do and then also uh, what we I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to hook up the 9 volt battery to it. And one other thing too that I forgot to mention during the review is also when we're able to cut this cover out these little silver strips down here you get it just right you can see it that's actually you can test uh, surface mount components too so that's a nice little feature you have uh, Bruce from Brock's Creations uh, was kind enough to uh, critiqued me on my review. Uh, he saw it and uh, he didn't realize that this uh, case was a little different than his. This has an angle to it where his is square. And he asked me if I knew about this part of it that's actually a surface mount component checker. And I said yes I did but I forgot to mention that in the review. So um, I'm just going to bring that up and then once we get it cut out also I'll make it a little clearer to you there. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to kind of do a little modification on the case here, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to uh, take this uh, front case off here, and uh, I'm going to zoom in here, so that way we can see it a little bit better here. And uh, we're going to take this apart. Take this apart here. And then this comes off here. have that off and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece off too right there all right and I'll be very careful not to uh, jumble it up there so it falls apart here so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to use some blue tape just to kind of mark it off here a little bit so that way I can get a relatively uh, straight cut on it and um, this little trick is uh, when you're uh, when you're cutting acrylic plastic, you got to be very, very, very careful with it. And so what I like to do is I will put this tape here. That's going to protect 
that's going to protect, I'm gonna, let me zoom out, that's going to protect this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a piece on the other side as well. And again, that's going to protect it. Uh, it's hopefully keep it, hopefully we won't crack it. Okay. We're going to be cutting from this side. And then we'll do our first cut. And then what I might do is actually, um, we'll do our first cut. And I'm going to actually bring that down a little bit further. So that way I have plenty of access getting to the surface mounted component uh, part of it here to, to check it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, let's see, screws are falling out of it here. Okay, so I got to be, <laughs> be real careful because now it's going to all fall apart here on me. So, uh, so let's uh, get the Dremel and we'll work this over. And then what we're going to do then on this piece is then we're also going to elongate that uh, opening there again to give us more access so when we flip that lever uh, it won't we our finger won't be hampered by it here so i'm just going to leave that over there like that let me go get the dremel came out pretty good there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to almost forgot we gotta hook up the nine volt battery to this. So let's do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to solder this battery connector on here. Like so, there's the positive and negative there. You can see it right 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 there. Try to get the light there. There you go right there. So these actually holes go all the way through. They've already kind of tinned them up on the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it up, poke these wires through there, and then uh, we'll be ready to uh, mount our battery in the case. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna solder it here and uh, be back in a moment.
now what we'll do is we'll be able to uh, have we're going to use a little velcro on the battery here and it'll we'll just attach it onto that bottom plate there and that way if you ever need to change the battery you just take the bottom plate off and you can get right to the battery there but this will make it a lot easier and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a 9 volt battery I'll uh, make sure it works before we put it all back together okay so let's hook the battery up to it here and let's see what happens and let's uh, hey look at that yay it works okay so we're good so let's uh, Turn this off here, and we'll turn it off. And like I said, see now we can get to these, uh, when you have a surface metal component, see now we can get to that real easy now. And uh, like I said, I, I do apologize for not telling you guys about that earlier, uh, but it is a, just another neat little feature that this little component tester has. So let's get it back together. Okay guys, so we got this all back together and you can see um, we have the battery in it there so we can run it off of battery power now. We don't have to plug it in anymore. And uh, like I said, if I want to change the battery, I just take this back plate off. I got a little piece of Velcro holding that battery so it doesn't flop around in there. But you can see there's not really much room in there anyway because there's a little plastic panel there that protects the circuit board and that's what I have this battery attached to is that little plastic panel so it's not going to go anywhere and uh, yeah it looks pretty clean uh, I think it looks pretty nice there and I kind of twisted the wire a little bit to make it look a little nicer and uh, yeah so see now we can get our big fat fingers in here now and we can push it down all the way or we can flick it back up and now we have access to those surface mount component part of it there so we can test surface mount components. So that's it guys. So I am done now with this little device here, this component tester. And uh, like I said, uh, go back to my uh, review of this. I talk more in depth about it. And uh, if you wanna get one of these, there's a link on that video, but I'll put a link on this video too, where to get one. And you know, like I said, it's, it's a nice, little piece of kit it works fantastic it's very portable and you can do a lot of things with it and I really like this thing I've already used it a couple times it works pretty darn good so anyway um, um, <laughs> I gotta find a little screw here while I was putting this back together I dropped it on the floor but I'll find the other screw but uh, three will hold it on there just fine so yeah so okay guys so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video please give me a like I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the new subscribers and all the existing subscribers. Thank you very much. Also, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell. And we're also on Twitter now. You can reach out to me on Twitter. And we're also on MeWe. That's the new social network. And uh, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.